Have you ever thought that your life was getting a little too complicated and you kind of wanted to scale back and maybe simplify a little bit? In today's video, I have 25 ideas that you can use to simplify your life. But if you are new here, my name is Jennifer. I make videos weekly on saving money through being frugal and implementing minimalism. I'm also documenting our journey to paying off our mortgage by the year of 2024 and ultimately just being financially independent. So if any of that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy when I do these videos rapid fire. Number one is to stop thinking about what ifs. I think there's some sort of study that says 80 to 90% of our what ifs never even happen. So most of the time, most of our stress comes from our what ifs. What if you stop stressing? Number two is to put your phone to bed. Good night phone. Yeah, good night. Sleep well, okay? I have put my phone to bed for the last four years and it has made a world of difference in my life. What do I mean by putting my phone to bed? Well. The problem I was running into is I was literally spending an hour scrolling through social media before I went to bed and when I woke up. I wouldn't even get out of bed immediately. I would sit there under the covers, I would put the covers over my head and just sit there and just ingest. We all know what this does to our life. It stresses you out. You start thinking about something. Somebody sent you a terrible work email and you just read it so your day is going to be crappy the rest of the day, right? How do you solve that problem? For me, I put my phone to bed in the bathroom. So it's also my alarm clock. All I do is set my alarm, put it in the bathroom, which is about, I don't know, 15 feet from me. And when the alarm goes off, you can't just sit there and listen to it. You hop right out of bed and guess what? You're up. So find a place where you can plug your phone in that's not next to your bed, but close enough that you will still hear your alarm. Try it for one week and just see how your life changes. Number three, at the end of each day before you go and get ready for bed, before you put your phone to bed, set a timer for 10 minutes and straighten your house. If there are other people at home, they now know that that 10 minute timer means, guess what? We gotta go straighten the house because it will make a world of difference when you wake up in the morning and you feel that freshness of having a straightened house. Number four can be hard for some people, but Cut people out of your life that are negative or have no value in your life. Now, that's not to mean you never talk to them because they could be, you know, somebody who's very important, maybe a family member, but maybe you just kind of pull back on that communication. You need to do what's best for the health of you and your family. If I'm around somebody who's negative, I automatically, somehow I absorb that energy and I feel negative. I cannot stand it. I like to get away. That is one of my biggest tips right there to simplify your life. It's the hardest one that I'm going to mention in this entire list. Number five is to create a household cleaning schedule. So there are tons of these on Pinterest that you can go on that talk about you can do X, Y, and Z on Sunday through Saturday and what you need to do each day to keep a clean house. But rather than cleaning house on a bulk uh, day and spending an entire day of your life doing it, setting up a, a routine cleaning schedule. Number six, turn off the TV. I don't, I really don't need to say much more because we all know what's on TV right now, right? Number seven is go for walks, breathe in some fresh air. The benefit to not only your health, physical, but your mental health is huge and you can come up with some of your best ideas or solutions to problems in your life going on walks without earbuds in, just relaxing and letting your mind be free. Number eight is choose smaller, closer to home vacations. Rather than spending so much time stressing about passports, uh, resort fees, X, Y, Z that comes with long, big vacations, do smaller vacations. This is not only better for your budget, but a whole lot less stressful. And there are probably a lot of places near you that are interesting that you haven't even been to before. Number nine is my favorite, become frugal. You will learn that you don't need as much as you thought you used to. And if you're interested on in learning how to become frugal, I have a whole playlist I'll put right here. Tons of information. Number 10 is to carry less in your purse. Huge. Ha ha think about into your purse and see when the last time you've actually needed something that's in there. I mean, do you really need to carry around, uh, you know, the ear cleaner Q-tips for your ears? Yeah. 
I know there's somebody out there who does that, right? Number 12 is remove apps from your cell phone. I am no longer on any sort of social media other than YouTube and that is for a reason because I can't be trusted <laughs> with sp not spending too much time sitting there on them. So this goes for other things, game apps, any apps that you realize are taking up too much of your time. You know, when you sit there and you say, I don't have time to spend time with my child to, you know, play a board game. I don't have time to start a, a business. I don't have time to do yoga or meditation but yet you spend two hours a day scrolling on one of the social media sites. Number 11 is spend more time outdoors. This goes hand in hand with walking, but simplifying your life will also be spending time outdoors. There is a healing power within nature. Um, maybe that's something that if you have an outdoor space, look into how you can, you know, inexpensively make it a kind of more of a, a relaxing place for you to go where you want to go out and just sit. Um, go out there and read a book. That will do so much for your mental health. Number 13 is create a relaxing nighttime routine for yourself. Something that you look forward to at the end of the day. For me, so what I do at night, I look forward to, there's a couple of like live podcasts that I like to watch. I go and lay in my bed and I lay on my heating pad. I, I just love my heating pad and it helps with my psoas muscle which likes to really flare up. So I lay on it at the hottest temperature. It has to be burning hot. I mean, my back is like a lobster when we get finished with this, right? And I will literally lay in the bed relaxing for about an hour. And it's it's just my relaxing time. I might use the little um, uh, massager that my husband got me for Christmas, like on my feet to really de-stress. And then I'll just pick up a book and just relax, got that heating pad going. But that is my simple nighttime routine that I literally look forward to every single day. So that might not be perfect for you, but create one that you look forward to getting to the end of the day that's gonna relax you before you go to bed. Number 14 is find something that you've always wanted to do and do it. Whatever it is, if it's a hobby, if it's a craft, if it's you know learning a new language, whatever it is, just do it. You know, you've always wanted to do it. What better time? Just get started. Number 15, to simplify your life is to meditate. And if you're, you know, believe in God and prayer, meditation and prayer go hand in hand. Meditation, quiet in mind. I've talked about meditation many a time on my channel. It's something that actually blew up um, in 2020 when other people people were dealing with so much stress and had to actually stop and listen to their own thoughts. Meditation to help clear your mind of those thoughts can really help you come up with solutions to problems, um, help you expand your life. Um, can really bring into you. It's, it's always hard to talk about, like to explain what you can come up with or what it, clearing your mind, opening your mind up allows in. You know, it's, it's difficult. So if you've done meditation before, you know, meditation is a practice and it takes time, but just start out simple. I always use just guided meditations on um, YouTube. I just search that. That's what I use and it works, so just try it, okay? Number 16, find items in your house and reconsider them if they only serve one purpose. So I like when I'm buying something, I like for it to serve more than one purpose uh, so I can get more cost per use out of it per se. This comes to mind when I'm just honestly thinking about kitchen gadgets and the little thing that you use that cuts up grapes for kids. Honestly, you could just use a paring knife for that. I mean, I don't understand, but but one of the biggest stressors in your life could be actually just stuff laying around. So when you're looking to purchase an item or you're just looking around your house, consider if it's I, the item only has one actual use, useful use, and maybe you don't need that thing. Number 17 is a big one that I think people realized in 2020. Make your home a place you want to be. You know, make it relaxing. Have things you love there. Don't let it be overly cluttered with things, someplace you want to go. Making your house someplace you want to go is gonna be a lot less stressful because you're not going to feel like you need to be out of the house all the time, always constantly doing something, which stresses you out. Stresses me out just thinking about it. Number 18, stop watching the news when not ultimately absolutely necessary. Number 19, don't answer your phone. 
If you need me, you can leave me a message. Number 20, take a day off of work, a mental health day. If you have children, let them have their normal routine where they go to school or you know daycare or wherever they go and just have a day to yourself. You can do nothing. You can declutter your home. You can start that hobby that you've talked about forever and ever. There's a lot of things you could do. Number 21 is to reduce your beauty routine. I talked to you guys about how simple my beauty routine is um, in several videos. Um, and honestly, I, I've spent so much time, so much product, which makes my, made my skin worse. Um, spent so much money, which on products that made my skin worse. Just reduce your routine, which is going to reduce your stress because you're going to spend less time doing things that, I mean, if you find fun in it or, you know, putting on makeup or, or getting ready, then that's okay. And that's the same thing with any of these. If, if, um, if these don't fit for you, that's fine. It's just me trying to give you an idea of something that might help simplify your life. But if, if getting ready and your beauty routine is just overly complicated and gets, gets on your nerves, then simplify it. Number 22 is do not overbook your time. Do not say yes to everything. Do not have your child in so many sports that you guys are never home. The amount of money, number one, that sports actually cost. I mean, so, yeah, sports are good here and there, absolutely. Like my daughter, for her, we have a limit where she's just doing swimming and it's perfect for her age, right? But I don't want, and that's one time per week, I don't want to constantly have to think about having to go, I hear about these stories where people have to eat Chick-fil-A every single night because they've got to have, they have three kids and they're all in different activities at different places. I'm sure somebody has experienced this and realizes the stress that they put themselves in. Number 23, only check your email, now not your work email, but only check your personal email one time per day. There's no other reason for checking your email over and over. I mean, there's likely could be something in there that you need to handle. And then otherwise, if somebody really needs to get in touch with you to get something done or to happen, then they can give you a call, which you may not answer if you go with one of the other um, ideas I gave you. But then they can send you a text and say, I really do need to talk to you. Number 24 is to declutter. I talked about this a bit earlier when I talked about how, you know, if something doesn't serve more than one purpose, maybe thinking about getting rid of it. But decluttering is one of the biggest things that actually de-stressed me in my life. Getting rid of things that no longer served a purpose or brought joy to me. I have tons of decluttering videos. I'll make sure I link them up here. Number 25 is a little bit different and it is reasonably stockpile. Now, how is that simplifying your life? I'm not saying you need to go and buy 10 cases of water or uh, 10 cases of toilet paper, right? Have a reasonable stockpile so that if something does happen, or same thing with food, that way you have food in your house, if something does happen, you're not running around like one of these crazy people going to 16 stores just to look for a roll of TP. So that is it. That is my list of 25 things that you can start to simplify your life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you back for more videos.